buddy? What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? <laughs> hey, so, all right, so real quick, I'm about to show this VST that I bought a couple weeks ago. So it is orchestral VST, and I'm going to play a little bit of a score, just made up something, record it, and then break down some of this, what it does, how it does it. So right now we're in a Phrygian scale right down here in C major. Let's go to actually E. Why not? Let's live life on the edge, huh? And I'm just going to play this score and record it. So let's check this out. So when I record, most people up here, if you look at the top, you got the record button. Most people hit this three, two, one. So when I go to record, it counts down. And then they record. I've never seen no one do this, and I use this all the time. So it's this one right here. So it's, it says, wait for input to start playing. So this is the one I always use. And in the record button, you know, you got to make sure you put automation, notes, audio clips, whatever it is you want to capture, note start time and note end time. I put it on note start time, leave note duration. Um, no automations, no note end time. Um, that way, as soon as you press your first key, then the whole project starts. And you don't have to worry about jumping in on beat. I've never seen no one use this. And I've been using this from like a few years now. Several years. Alright, so let's get into this and let me just do a quick score. Let's roll. All right, so there's a little score, and then I captured all that information. So one thing I want to show with this, so the reason why I bought this VST, now I demoed this a, f a few times. Like I paid to get access to it, checked it out, see all what it offers. Inside here in the folder, so I think this thing is like about 10 or 11 gigs or something like that. It's, it's not small, which is good because that, you know, shows there's a lot of information in there to use. So this is the augmented orchestra. Now I have their Sonic Pass that gives me, you know, the Falcon and then some other things I downloaded. But this one right here is this. This one folder right here. So it has all these 11 folders with different things. Um, I'm in the orchestra folder. And they have like synths and stuff in here. But, um... You're able to layer four instruments. So right now we have two string ensembles, uh, sustain, two sustains. So down here I wanted to show that, so normally sample library, you, you know, you hit a key. And then if you want to play a chord, you know, you hit more than one key. And I have it layered, and then two, I can layer another one. 
So that way I could like put some short ones and I can hold down and then I think this is a that's a staccato, yeah, it's staccato. But then I could change this. Let's change this one. Let's actually get something way different. Let's go to brass, high brass, staccato all. Long horns. And let's go to this fourth one and let's add some textures. So if we go to where is it? Scent textures. Yeah, that's what I was saying. There's this has scents in it too. And it has a bunch of like uh, music, movie score and stuff, scary stuff. But the main thing that impressed me with this, so one key, you know, you got two strings. But this down here, which is a harmonizer for it, you press this button and it has some preset scales. So now it turns literally one key into like a choir. super dope and then even here you can hit like this roll the dice and it'll random randomize it for you let's change the root note let's go to I like a sharp That's another thing too. So like with your your note scale, you know, that's basically making your root note or whatever it is A sharp instead of being in the plain old C scale where everything sounds the same. So that's C key. And the A sharp scale, let's go to C. But this is pretty sweet. So let's go to a different one just to go through some of this quick video, nothing long. Let's go into some of the more crazier sounds in here. So if we go into brasses is pretty dope, but so this is just all like your regular orchestra stuff. Let's go into this is action. I was in action brass earlier. Let's see what this does. <laughs>
then too we have this this arpeggiator right here let's turn this on let's change that Yeah, so this this thing's pretty cool, man. Like, just the stuff it can do. Let's check some of the other ambience hybrids. Like this hybrid stuff's pretty dope. But yeah, just the possibilities are endless. And like I said, I pay for thing. I bought I bought this thing, so the homie can get access to it if he wants. I sent it to Tico and Witness already, so. But yeah, check it out, give it a try. This one's dope. This one's nice. Makes like a little basic drum pattern. Anyways, I'm not in the mood for beat right now, but you get my point. Check it out. D, I'm out.